A binomial is the sum of two algebraic terms, x plus 3, y plus z cubed, and x minus 5. Well, remember, mathematicians include subtraction with additions. We can find the power of a binomial using algebra. So x plus 3 to the third power, well, that's the product of three factors of x plus 3, and we can expand. But for high powers, this can be tedious. a plus 2 to the fifth will be the product of five factors of a plus 2, which will be a lot of work. So let's consider a menu approach. Consider an expansion like this. To find any term in the expansion, we choose one of the terms in each factor and multiply them together. If we select a every time, we get the term a to the fifth. If we select a, a, 2, a, and 2, we get 4a cubed. If we select a, a, 2, 2, 2, we get 8a squared. If we select a, 2, 2, a, a, we get 4a cubed again. So every product will appear once for every time we can select its factors. So we can find the terms in a plus 2 to the fifth power. A key strategy, organize. Since we can choose an a or a 2 in each factor, let's organize by the number of times we choose a and assume we choose 2 the remaining times. So our expansion is, if we pick a 5 times and multiply, we get, which is one term in our expansion, and we can do this in 5 choose 5 1 way, so there's only one a to the fifth term. If we pick a four times, we must pick two once, and this gives us, we can pick a four times in five choose four five ways, so there are five such terms giving us. If we pick a three times, we must pick two twice, giving us. And there are five choose three ten ways to do this, so our expansion will include 10 sumands, 4a cubed, or 40a cubed. If we pick a 2 times, we must pick 2 3 times, giving us, and this term will appear 5 choose 2 10 times, giving us 80a squared. If we pick a once, we must pick 2 4 times, giving us, and this term will appear 5 choose 1 5 times, giving us. And finally, we can pick a 0 times, in which case we must pick 2 5 times, giving us. And this appears 5 choose 0 1 time. So the preceding gives us the expansion. Now in math and in life, aesthetics count. So while we could state our result that way, we prefer to count up. So let's think about this. Remember, we're choosing five factors. Choosing a five times is the same as choosing two zero times. So five choose five is the same as five choose zero. Likewise, choosing a four times is the same as choosing two one time. So 5 choose 4 is the same as 5 choose 1, and we also have 5 choose 3 being the same as 5 choose 2. And so we can restate our result, and this gives us our binomial expansion. And the key features in this expansion are that the sum of the exponents is n, the power on the binomial, and a coefficient is n choose i, which we can view as the power on one of the factors. 
Now, the binomial theorem is usually introduced in algebra, which is kind of odd because the least important part of the binomial theorem is its application to algebraic expansions. The most important part of the binomial theorem is what it can tell us about combinatorics. And the key is massage the terms. We'll take a look at what that means next.